So you probably heard a lot about mobile home parks. The question is, is it a good investment? And if so, why? But if not, why not either? In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the pros and cons of investing in mobile home parks. Let's do this. Hi, I'm Michael Blanc. I teach people how to become financially free with real estate by investing in apartment buildings. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a thing because we put out videos every single week. Now, you've probably driven past mobile home parks and thought, my gosh, they're not much to look at, but maybe are they profitable? Is that something maybe that I should consider? Uh, you know, and, and maybe if not, what are some of the downsides of investing in mobile home parks? And that's what we're going to talk about in, in this video. Let's get right into the pros and cons. Here's why I like mobile home parks. Number one, they're recession resistant. I really like the way they have performed in the last couple of recessions. And that is, it's very similar to multifamily and self-storage in that sense. And it's really because the reason number two is there in such demand okay there's continued demand for affordable housing which is also why uh, multifamily apartment buildings are so good because there's nothing more affordable than an apartment you can't build affordable apartments you can't build more affordable housing in mobile home parks so i really like that because there's, there's such a shortfall of affordable homes in this country number three they're easy to manage because as a an owner of a mobile home park i'm supplying the land and i'm probably maintaining utilities like water gas and electric but how much it's like it's like having an rv park right right? You're not really providing the home. Now, sometimes you are, but in most of them, you're not. You're just providing the land and utilities. And so therefore, the actual maintenance is much, much, much lower than for an apartment building. But speaking of these these, these, these homes, okay, there's another thing I like is that there are additional profit centers. Because especially if you have access to capital, you as an owner might be able to lease the homes to the renters. So in other words, instead of having to require them to buy their own home, you actually buy it for them and then become the bank. So I love that because you can make additional money on leasing back the home as well. Now, one of the things I like is that mobile homes are typically mom and pop owned, which means that if I can reach out to them and speak to the owner directly, I can come up to with terms. These are these are off market deals. I can sometimes negotiate seller financing. And I like that as well. I like that mobile home parks in the right area can be what's called a covered land play, meaning that um, I can I can buy the mobile home park and operate as a mobile home park for say three, five, seven years, but the area is gentrified which means that down the road, five to seven years, a mobile home park may not be the highest and best use. I might be able to sell it for a magnificent profit to a developer who might put a shopping center there, an office building or houses. Now, here's a couple of reasons why I don't like mobile home parks. Number one is it's very difficult to outsource to management. Okay, The property typically successful mobile home park owners are self-managing. Typically, they have someone who lives there who becomes kind of their, their property manager, their eyes and ears. If there's an issue, they kind of deals with it. And that's cool. It's cheap to manage these things the problem is if that if that you know on-site manager moves out well guess what now you got to place an ad on facebook or craigslist and you're interviewing people and replacing stuff right and so i don't like that i like being able to put in a professional manager and i can't do that it's very difficult for me to do that with mobile home parks <clears throat> number two because a lot of them are mom and pop owned, it's very difficult to get into smaller, medium sized mobile home parks from a broker. A lot of times in multifamily, I need one or two maybe good, really good relationships with brokers and they feed me deals all day long because they're in the business. Mobile home parks, it's not quite like that, which means that I have to execute marketing campaigns myself. Again, the advantage is that I get access to off market deals and seller financing. The disadvantage is I have to execute marketing campaigns myself. And I don't love doing that, right? I just like, like to focus on two or three great brokers and they feed me deals versus having to send out letters and, and postcards. And I've done that or cold calls. Uh, so the people who are successful in mobile home parks, they do execute their own marketing campaigns. And I don't love that. And the third thing, I don't love is I just don't like the way they make me feel. I kind of felt that way when I did my first deal. It was kind of a C minus deal in a slightly dingy area of Washington, D.C. It was certainly an up and coming area, but I just did not feel comfortable there, especially at night. And the same thing when I walk through a mobile home park, I just I just don't feel comfortable there. And so it's up to you really on how you feel about mobile home parks. It's just not for me. So to recap, mobile home parks are strong investments. They really are. They're highly cash flowing investments. They perform very well during recessions. They're increasing in demand because they're affordable housing. Um, and they're also easy to manage because they're simple. Now, what I don't love about them is that, you know, they are, you have to self-manage them. And that's a big thing for me. And I have to execute my own marketing campaigns to find deal flow. And that's good and bad. I just don't love doing that. And I don't like the way it makes me feel, which is why I kind of stay away from class D type apartment building assets. So there you have it. Pros and cons of investing in mobile home parks. It's not for everyone. Is it for you? Let me know in the comments below. 
you know, so the question is, are they good investments? Yes. Are they good for you? Maybe. Okay. You have to decide that for yourself. For me personally, and maybe for you, the best investment on the plan is still apartment building investing. It checks off all the boxes that we talked about, but I can put a professional manager in place. Um, and that makes it very simple to manage a small, medium, or large, even apartment buildings. So really, that's what I think. I think apartment buildings are the best investment, uh, better than mobile home parks and self-storage, which I like second best. And you know, I want you to get started with, with investing. There's great ways to do that. Uh, you can check out my, my book here. It's on Amazon. It's called Financial Freedom with Real Estate Investing. If you're interested in investing in yourself, and how to do your first apartment building deal, even if you have no experience or uh, money, then check out our dealmaker certification. It's a very unique process that gets you in your first deal from where you're right now, doing your first deal, and then scaling your portfolio. Check that out at dealmakercertification.com. And you're gonna learn everything that you need to do your first deal and become financially free in the next three to five years. So dealmakercertification.com is a place for that. Anyway, I hope you guys found this useful as I compared and contrasted mobile home parks, apartment buildings. Catch you guys next time.